welcome to part two of our Messy Church video for October the 11th. Now, we've already said we're going to be making some bread, so this is how we do it. We get our bowl, we're going to put three heaps tablespoons of flour into our bowl. So this is about a heap tablespoon. If you um, like to weigh it out rather than use tablespoons, then it's about 120 grams. Okay, that goes in first. Then we just add a pinch of salt, so I'm just gonna shake a little bit of salt in there and just give that a little mix, okay. Then we're going to add uh, three heap tablespoons of yogurt. So there's one, two, three, okay. And the other thing we're going to add is one tablespoon of olive oil. Don't try and make that a heaped tablespoon, that doesn't really work. There we are. Okay, now before I do anything else, I'm just going to tie my hair back. Should have probably done that before. I don't know why, but my family don't like my long hairs in their dinner. I'm taking off my uh, rings and things as well, just so that my hands are clear of things that will get all gunky. And we're going to mix this together to make a dough. So I'm just going to use a spoon to start with, but then I'm going to get my hands in there because that's much more fun, isn't it? And also my spoon's got all the um, yoghurt still stuck to it, so I think we'll get that off there. See if we can make a right doughy mess. Seems like fun. Okay. Now I haven't made this before, so I'm really hoping that it's going to work out. So I'll get in there with the old hands. Try and get all that. All that flour from the sides of the bowl feels quite sticky. I don't think that's going to be a problem if it's quite gooey because um, we're going to put flour down um, to actually make it. Now this makes two, so um, if you've got more people in your family uh, you might need to double the quantity or you might want to um, just have very small bits of bread. Split it in half so you've got your dough in two parts. Look at that, it's lovely, isn't it? Excellent, so that's one bit there, another bit there. Okay, and then we're going to get our flour. Now I've got my hands all covered in gunk, so excuse me a minute, Gemma will probably zoom us forward. And we're back, and now we have clean hands. So it's a little bit easier to handle stuff once we've got clean hands. I'm going to now, I've already cleaned my surface and um, you might want to do this on a board but I cleaned it before I started. I'm going to put a load of flour on there. Again, pretty messy. That's all part of the fun. I'm going to take one of my um, dough balls and I'm just going to get a bit of the flour on it just so it's not too sticky. And then I'm going to get my um, rolling pin and I quite like to put a little bit of flour on the rolling pin just so things don't stick too much and I'm just going to roll that out and I'm rolling it out until it's about a centimetre thick. I just think it's about that. I don't think it has to be too perfect or anything. I think that looks okay. I'm just going to pop that to the side. I'm going to do the other one. I think I've still got enough flour there. Put the other one on, get a bit of flour around it, roll it out. If it's a bit sticky on the top, then just put a bit more on. And again, we're looking for it about a centimetre thick. I haven't worried at all about what shape it's turned out. I really don't think it matters. So, that's part two. If you want to join us for part three, that'll be cooking it. See you soon.